So I'm going to show you how to use Leonardo AI, which is a game asset generator AI that you can give a text prompt to, and then it will spit out things like this, where you've got these cool little environments that you can input into a game, uh, and you know ultimately use for your game design. Really neat. Some of the uh, blurriness here, you can hit upscale on an image, and then you can get like a full, um, like high quality render of this. I'm going to kind of show you how the prompts work. And what I did. So um, ultimately, when I got in here, I went to the home page, and they have a place where you can browse through different. If you go to the top, they have this list right here. And so if I go skip through, they have all of these different models that you can use. So what I went to was Isometric Fantasy, and I just clicked on that and said create with this model. And what I could do, if also too, just stepping back for a second, if I want to go and figure out how a prompt is created, what I can actually do is just look through here. I think if I click on this one, yeah, it'll actually just say um, a fantasy diorama with a castle and a lake. That's actually all that was given to create this prompt. So you can actually kind of look at the existing prompts and then just sort of use those to figure out what you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click in here, generate with this model. And then um, what I had started with, I said, hey, I want a top-down view of a small village with thatched roofs and cobblestone streets surrounded by a lush green landscape, top-down, tabletop, vector, video game, asset. And it came out perfectly. Any of these that I like, I can just hit upscale image. And then there'll be, if I went back to the um, home section, they would be in my, uh, my content that I created as upscaled offerings, right? So I can just actually hit this. So I'm actually just gonna change this and we'll say, I'm going to change everything that I want. So I'm going to say a top-down view of an island um, village, um, fishing boats on beach, and I'll say um, palm trees, I'll say small human characters. fishing and so I'm actually looking for that type of scene so it's a little island village type thing and there's gonna be people fishing I'm actually gonna run that twice just to see if I get multiple versions I'm gonna try prompt magic which is sort of the like experimental rendering and we'll see what comes out of that I'm just gonna turn that off I'm only gonna do that one time and so here in a second we're gonna see what comes out and right now let's kind of look down and see what we got so it looks like we have uh, maybe some people, little island uh, community. Yep, we got some sort of boats over here. That's cool. And so we have some sort of semblance of like, yeah, this is a, a little tropical, you know, village type situation. So what I'm going to do, maybe we're going to upscale some of these. And we can look at them at the end. Um, this one's a little weird, right? It's got the hand sticking in there, but overall really pretty cool. Let me see what's up with this one. That's pretty neat. Um, it looks like there's, these are just like bubbles kind of in the, in the water. So I'm going to upscale that one. Uh, this one seems pretty cool. This is a really neat, super top down look. Really like that. You can kind of ask for it to be changed in different ways. Um, to try to get more out of it. And I think that this is the one where I asked for the prompt magic. And I think that's pretty cool. So let's see if we could change this. Um, we'll actually take the fishing boats on beach out. Um, and then I'm thinking what we, we can do here is let's, let's change this to something like a evil landscape. So let's say a top down view of um, uh, evil volcano um, sorcerers, sorcerers. Um, castle um, let's see let's see uh, dragon guarding castle and I'm gonna see if there's like a just a really evil looking landscape um, I'm gonna add in some keywords I'm gonna say like dark red um, epic ominous um, maybe Medieval, if I can spell it. Medieval. I'm terrible at that. I think that the spell check will save me. Any 
anyhow. All right, so let's generate that. Let's see what we get. And I think these words with the comma separation should um, start to give me something. But let's go look at these. Okay, cool. So we do have something kind of cool brewing here. All right, so we have definitely sorcerer's kind of castle or some magic kind of glowing stuff happening. I didn't really see the dragon. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of that in there. Um, but overall, we do have something closer to what we were expecting. It's a little bit too green and lush. And I'm actually going to say um, top down view of, okay, there we go. And I'm going to add in uh, dark stone, mud, black, darkness, and see. There you go, boom. Got my spell check finally. Not enough coffee, right? So let's see what we have now. And honestly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna take this, and I'm going to prompt generation, and I'm gonna ask for six prompts. And it's gonna give me a couple different versions. It's gonna take this, and then it's gonna reword it, and then I can ask for any of the prompts to be generated um, based off of whatever whatever it gives me. I think this comes from maybe like a chat GPT type thing where it generates new prompts and then you can just say, yeah, let me generate based off of that prompt. If it describes the scene that you're looking for, then you can just use that to push. So let's see what we get here. Okay, so I actually had to refresh that, but we have some... Um, some options here. So I think that this one, I kind of like that, about the dragon perched at the, the top. And then let's look through here. So we still do have a little bit of the green. Um, this one got to be a little bit darker and spookier. Still a little bit too much green grass for me. Um, this one was kind of, you got some more stone in here. So that does add some, um, some value here. And I think that we can I have it fully fleshed out, but I think you can use a negative prompt. And I could say no, I'm gonna say green. That's what I don't wanna see. I don't wanna see any green. And so I'm actually gonna go in here and put, put that initial prompt back in. And then I'm gonna throw up one with the prompt magic and we're gonna see what we get. All in all, so I'm gonna say, I don't wanna see any green. No green, that's a negative. And then let's see what we get. Hopefully we can remove all the green because ultimately a lot of the stuff is really, okay, wow, great. So no green and look what we're getting. Some really cool stuff. It's not really as top down as I would have liked, but we are getting more of like an evil castle feel. And that's what we wanted. All right, cool. And as you can see, if you look through here, we completely got rid of the green we try to just sort of suggest it with the words evil and dark, um, but we actually kind of got all the way through here. So I'm gonna actually take this one. Uh, the dragon didn't quite work out all the way. We have like dragon uh, wings, which is actually kind of cool because they look sort of like flags. So that's kind of interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and upscale that. Um, neat, oh, look at that. We do have a dragon up here just kind of a dragon statue though, so it's not 100% complete. Yeah, overall some really interesting stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and upscale these. And then let's go ahead and take a look at what we've upscaled and see what that actually ends up looking like. So I'm taking a look at some of the upscaled stuff in my personal collection. I'm actually gonna go back here, just right here where it says personal feed. I'm just gonna say upscaled. And I'll go look in here and you can see I have a ton more detail. These are really cool. So I've got these little like fire pit things, some stairs that are a little bit not like super coherent, um, but they're pretty neat. Let's go look and see. So the one of the island villages, really awesome. This kind of looks like sort of a shipwreck thing. Um, a little bit weird over here. There's some sort of fishing net situation, some stuff floating in the water. Let's go look and see what else pretty cool uh, I think that the buildings and the pathway are probably the most uh, coherent thing here and you know you could have uh, like more clarity with the prompt and you could provide like more depth of detail on like what you're actually wanting to see I think that these houses 
turned out pretty good. They do look like kind of stitched together in terms of like the wood. But that's pretty cool. Yeah, anyhow, so that's like a, a pretty much a take home um, example of what this algorithm can do. And this is that's just one of the algorithms available here in Leonardo. So I just kind of want to show you how you can start making um, little environments like this and how how that all works and, and how those prompts might look like and how you get to those prompts to generate something like this. But yeah, if you've hung out with me this long, really appreciate it. Um, Thanks for watching and have a good one.